I've got some baking stuff ready for tomorrow so we're going to make a gingerbread loaf so I've got some flour, coconut sugar, raisins, cinnamon nutmeg and ginger powder, coconut oil, ground almonds and then there's baking soda and bicarb in there ready for tomorrow so that we can mix it all together there's my loaf pan We've made our gingerbread loaf. It's a new recipe we haven't tried before. Uh, it's from the Deliciously Yellow app. And it looks nice. There's loads of coconut sugar in it though, so I'm not sure if he'll have very much of it at all. But he really enjoyed it. And it was a good one because it had different textures, like um, the ground almonds. If you squish those, then they sort of bunch together. And then he really enjoyed getting his hands in the dry ingredients. <laughs> which was really fun and the sugar, the coconut sugar is really granular and um, yeah, he really enjoyed that one I think. So I hope it tastes nice so he can have a little bit of it. He certainly quite enjoyed tasting the mixture as he does <laughs> but it takes uh, 50 to 55 minutes to cook so that'll be, oh, well I can't see the time now, the time is on but that'll be nice in time for a cup of tea I think but yeah, he really enjoyed that. So yeah, we're not very, really doing very much today. I will have a little bit of cake in a little while. We've got leftover mac and cheese for lunch, which is always brilliant. I love having leftovers for lunch the next day, so you don't have to think about what to make for lunch the next day. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna try and get a bit of the heel done on this sock. <laughs> He's laughing at his story, I don't know if you can hear that. His laugh is the, just the best sound on earth. Um, yeah, that's it really. I really would love to get this heel done uh, so I can get those blocks and I've just ordered some boxes so that I can just put it in large letter post because I think it's up to 100 grams so then I won't have to go to the post office which would be really really good. And he loves posting stuff in the post box so he'll enjoy that too. <laughs> right. I'm going to go and get knitting on that sock.
these up and then I remembered that I meant to show you them before I did that so I blocked them and there's the heel my camera's really not wanting to focus on things right now for some reason give it a hand um, but yeah there's the heel and as you can see the real pointy bit has blocked out and it's just sort of semi pointy now but I think with a couple of a couple less of the rows in between the decreases, that would look really nice. So definitely going to try it again. But there, are those finished and ready to put in the post. Hopefully they'll get there in time. But it's the thought that counts is my motto for this year <laughs> and the other socks are blocked can you hear that teddy bear you've got the loudest purr teddy's next to me and oh, he's just got the loudest purr oh you're a beautiful big hunk of a cat aren't you and These socks are finished too, so they're blocked and ready to wrap. You see a little bit of sparkle in there. So yeah, they're lovely, but they're just a basic DK sock. How many stitches do I cast on? I think I cast on 48 stitches on the 3.25 needle for the DK socks, and I like them a bit shorter than I'm liking shorter socks at the moment in general actually, but I tend to do these shorter because um, you don't get as much yardage in a DK scheme. Sorry it's late so my brain is just <laughs> taking off for the night. So yeah, I'd better block these but let me just try and show you this beautiful animal. Teddy bear. Oh, what a handsome boy. Showing the tummy that I know he doesn't want me to stroke. <laughs> <laughs> 